making curvy shapes with cubic voxels. Um, stacking and smoothing is one technique, and I'll show a couple of others. So as we've seen in the previous tutorials, a voxel's default shape is a cube. There is a voxel. It is a cube. A lot of things can be built out of cubes, but sometimes we want something a little smoother. So this tutorial covers a few ways to get rounded shapes. Let me get the webcam out of the way again, and let's take a look at a couple ways. So first of all, if you just want some basic arcs or other simple shapes, there are sets of starter templates that you can use where they've already been made by other people. This, in fact, is made from them. Um, you can also find a lot of useful shapes in any of the swap meets that are often around. Look in the gallery, which is in your marketplace. Gallery, you can usually just search for a swap meet and lots will come up. And generally, those will have free access for anyone to copy. They contain voxel creations that have been donated by people who, you know, are welcome or are happy for other people to use what they've done. Um, as a cautionary measure, remember, if you do contribute stuff to swap meets, you are giving them away. Anybody can use them. Anybody can even take them and sell them on Player Studio. You have given away your rights to them when you put them on a swap meet. Just be aware when you do that. Um, now, starter templates are ones that we just picked um, in the to actually give out to people for convenience. There's a whole set of these quarter discs and arcs labeled in different sizes. If you have an older character, you will have automatically got them on your character, unless you've deleted them. If you're on a newer character, you can actually make them at the forge under building template. You'll find them all down here as well as a few other things. However, what if you want um, something different? Well, I'm going to show later on how to make things like these little heart windows. First, I'll just quickly show how to make basic uh, shapes like pillars and circles. Let's say we want to make a pillar. Uh, let's say we want a pretty fat pillar, nine voxels wide. All I'm going to do is create a sphere of the size that I want my pillar to be. And I'm going to select, with my selection volume, the equator of it. By the way, for those not familiar with all of the controls of the selection volume, you can drag the corners out. You can also drag the flat faces out. And there's a little reminder here in the modal toolbar, Holding down F lets you actually select the furthest face from you. You can see I'm holding down F right now. You can see my cursor highlights the farthest away face. And while I'm holding down F, I can push that face out so I don't even have to run around. That's my favorite way. Your mileage may vary, but be aware um, it's an option. So if you made a sphere of an odd number, then you're going to have an equator that is symmetrical. If you made an even numbered sphere, it's going to be not quite symmetrical. Here is my odd-numbered equator. The even-numbered sphere is going to have one circle above the equator and one below, which will be curved slightly differently. This bottom line here is exactly the center. So going upwards from this, this is going to be slightly smaller at the top than it is at the bottom, or this one down below would be slightly smaller at the bottom than it would be at the top. Both of these we can fix, though. The easiest way, if I paste them down, is to just copy the same shape twice, one above the other, and hold down F so that as I click to paste it, it deletes. Oops, and apparently I forgot to select that very back of the sphere, so I have a little bite out of this one, but you get the idea. Um, and for this one, I could do the same. I can also use the line tool trick that we covered in the last tutorial. Just click a couple times, and that'll smooth it down. And I can do that on both sides. So to make a pillar, obviously, I just copy and paste this and stack it up tall. 
and there's my filler. And there's a cat jumping on my head. Apologies in advance if I get interrupted. All right, going to delete these, get them out of the way. So that's simple spheres. Um, arcs would be similar. Well, you could make them in a few different ways, but you could delete a smaller sphere from the middle of a larger, uh, a larger circle, or you could build them by hand. All right, so what about custom shapes? What if I don't want simple spheres? So first, what we're going to do is draw the shape out of square voxels, which is what I've done here. I've drawn a little heart shape, but just out of square voxels. It looks like pixel art. Now what I'm going to do, now I've drawn this, and I cheated a bit and did this in advance, but I'm going to select it. And I am going to paste it. in a vertical stack and often tweak mode is going to be a little easier to align these. So I just held down control as I left clicked and now I get my tweak menu up, my tweak window, and I can just drag, confirm, drag, confirm. And I probably want to do this, um, I'd say at least seven times. Depends a little bit on the complexity of the shape, but uh, that should be plenty. Now I'm going to select the shape, but everything except the top and bottom. Just make sure I've got everything selected. Yep. Okay. So everything except the top and bottom row are selected. <clears throat> now I'm using my smooth tool. Your smooth tool can be applied to the selection volume. You can choose to either smooth aggressively just by clicking, or if I want a very fine smoothing, as you can see from the modal toolbar, which I can't see because there's a cat in the way, but uh, there we go. In the modal toolbar, it will show you F is your key to smooth in more fine increments. So if I hold down F, I'm going to smooth very gently instead of very suddenly, the way my first smooth was. So it all depends on how smooth you want it generally want to click a couple times until it looks like you've got a nice smooth outline. Now I switch back to my selection tool and I go back to only one slice of it being selected and I copy and I paste and what I'm going to find is I have a nice smooth heart. Now because it's a heart in this particular shape I might actually want it a little pointy still down here at the points. I can easily fix that by using some of my little microvoxel sticks here. I'll grab one of the thinnest ones. And if you don't know how I got those, just watch my previous tutorials. So remember our rule about voxels. Whichever voxel is most recently placed will keep its shape. Its neighbors are going to be forced to change shape to meet it. So if I paste this extra small voxel down here, it's actually going to force the voxels above it to stretch out. Now that's maybe a little too aggressive a point. Maybe I used slightly too small. So let's try another one and we can experiment till we get the right, the right size to point it just a little bit more, but not too, too much. So I could do it like that, or I could do it down there. Oh, that's way too much. I actually quite like, oops, quite like it like that. This is um, this particular one that I selected. is also not fully a voxel tall, so it's squishing this point downward slightly. We can fix that pretty easily. 
with our magic line tool trick. Or, better yet, by just copying and pasting it above itself. Alright, so let's copy this out. And I'm going to copy, not going to copy that one at the bottom. So up one and paste up one. And I'll actually oh, I'll paste it three times. What that's going to do is make the one in the middle be a full voxel high all the way around. So there we go. Now I clearly don't want this here. I could try the delete tool. Sometimes that will delete cleanly. In this case it does not. So the easiest way is to just copy around it. We'll copy this out. And then we'll copy the rest in pieces, leaving out the one that we don't want. And I can actually cheat here because this is symmetrical in mirror. And then I'll copy this last section here. All right. So you may or may not want to bother with that step, but I just thought I'd show it because it's an option. And as always, our line tool trick is going to be very helpful to smooth out any little dents in this. All right, so we now have a heart. What can I do with this? Well, I can just float it in the air as I have here. I can let's rotate it upwards if this is going to be a window. I can paste it either right in front, or if I wanted to just have an inlaid pattern, I can paste it directly in as long as I am pasting without air. That's going to work. And if you're not sure which you're pasting, hold down control as you click, go into tweak mode and just check what the tick boxes here say. Make sure paste without, uh, pardon me, paste with voxels is not ticked. If I did have it ticked, then it would paste the air I've selected around it, which is not an effect that I obviously want if I'm trying to inlay it into a wall. All right, so that's pretty cool. What if I want to have that be a window, though, and cut out the middle? What's the easiest way to do that? Well, the easiest way, I think, is to, again, sink it into the wall over here in a different place. Instead of this option, I'm going to remove voxels. I've now used it to cut a hole in the wall, which is great. I'm now going to delete some of these voxels around here. Oops. I want to make sure not to do that too close to the actual oops, heart shape and also to use the delete tool, not the heal tool. And I'm just doing this so that I can cleanly copy that smaller heart without getting any other rubbish with it. Okay, so now copy this and paste it. And I now have the smaller heart, which I can sink into this wall. Tweak mode again, holding down control, remove voxels. Boom. There's my window. And as a bonus, I got another little heart. So this smoothing and then pasting um, is often used to make inlaid patterns on inlaid patterns on floors. Excuse me, um, windows like this, and all sorts of things like that. You can also use it uh, this stacking and smoothing technique just to make things like a curved roof or any other curved shape um, that you might want. For example, quite likely that's the way these arcs were originally made, someone carefully drew them out and then smoothed them. And as I showed, any shape that you make smoothed out this way can be used um, to paste as a negative as well. So I could equally I could equally 
equally have had a whole cut like my original heart shape. Like that, if that's what I wanted. And again, you can see there's a little bit of deformation around the borders here. Line tool, amazing tool. We'll bring that pretty cleanly back to where your original voxel border would have been. You may have to do it a little bit and play around with it, but it'll certainly get you about 90% of the way there at least. There we go. So that is stacking and smoothing to make curves and inlays, as well as a few other tricks like making pillars.